the Scottsdale Unified School District is struggling with aging buildings, uneven enrollment, and other problems at some of its elementary schools. As Angeline Meehan reports, the public took the opportunity to weigh in on what they think should be done to fix the district's problems. Since last month, the Scottsdale Unified School District has held a number of community meetings to inform the public on the current state of its elementary schools. Administrators reached out for feedback from the public on how to handle the changing needs of the city. Possible elementary school master plan options are to rebuild schools to accommodate enrollment, combine schools, or to do nothing. Do not close the schools. These people came here because they don't want to see their school closed. After listening to a presentation by the Scottsdale Unified School District, community members voiced their opinions. As of now, the future of the district's elementary schools remains uncertain. The governing board has made no formal decision yet, but the possibility of any elementary school changes has some community members concerned. So if they were to close my school, I would be very upset. In a series of community meetings, the district listed possible plans they would have to develop to keep up with the changing needs of its elementary schools, including rebuilding schools to fit enrollment and upgrade its aging facilities, combining schools, or keeping schools as they are. Student Lenore Sanabria brought a sign to let administrators know her feelings. I don't want them to close down my school. Other plan suggestions from parents will also be taken into consideration. So those are the things that we want to make sure you put on the surveys so that as we go back to the governing board and have those discussions about what we need to do. The presentation addressed the conditions of campuses, maintenance and repair needs, and proposed technology upgrades. Scottsdale Unified School District plans to use parents' feedback on what should be done to develop the elementary school's master plan, a plan that Michael Peabody hopes doesn't involve preferential treatment toward more affluent schools in the district. We are all entitled to the same benefits across the board. The feedback from community members will be presented to the governing board in March. It will be up to the governing board to take the feedback and make a final decision on what exactly the district's elementary school master plan will be. A bond would need to be issued to fund any of the proposed endeavors. The presentation shown at the meetings can be found on the district's website. Angeline Meehan, Cronkite News.